in this lesson and the lesson name is energy conservation and the objectives of this lesson are what is energy from where this energy coming what are the sources of energy what are the ways of using the energy what are the ways of saving the energy where the we are using the energy in different ways yes energy is doing so much for us ma'am please tell us what is energy energy is the ability to do the work this is a basic definition and a small definition of the energy to understand it is not only the use of hand movement leg movement and the body movement but it is the heat it is the force that may produce the energy convert from one form to another like electricity coal gas all are different forms of energy but you must understand energy is not created never destroyed never recycled but it changes the form of energy it moves from one place to another i'll give you the example when you are walking so there is a different kind of energy when you are standing but when you are walking there is a different type of energy when sun is sending the energy in the ground it is a totally different kind of energy and example is the food the sun is sending the energy on the food on the plant and that plant you are using it you are eating it and that is food energy so that is the conversion of energy madam we know that energy comes by eating food yes. and when we start the car it starts running yes. is there a energy consumption yes because the fuel is being used for running the car and that fuel is coming from some other sources and that if sources are exhausted then from how you will run the car and that is what we have to learn how to save the energy now we will talk about what is energy conservation and what is the definition of it energy conservation is any action or behavior that results in using less energy there are various ways that uses less energy to perform the same task or the same amount of work let me explain you there are two types of energy one is renewable energy and second is non renewable energy i'll repeat this one is what renewable energy and second non renewable non very good ma'am can you explain the renewable energy renewable energy is the one which can be renewed again and again which is already present in nature which is unstoppable and inexhaustible what is that renewable as the meaning is is keep on generating and sun is the major source of renewable energy ma'am how does sun give us energy how does sun gives us energy very good question for example when you are drying the clothes in the sun the sun energy will be used for drying the clothes when you are drying the same clothes in the dryer that will use more energy so this is one very good example for energy conservation now i will talk about the sun is the major source of energy in this world it provides the energy for the survival of plants animals and the human beings sun sends the energy to the earth where it is taken by the plants 
animals and then to the human being. Number one, there are various sources of renewable energy. What are the sources? Wind energy, sun energy, water energy, geothermal energy and the biomass energy. Right? And we must also remember only the renewable energy is non-polluting. It is environment friendly and it is cost effective because for sun energy you are not paying, wind energy you are not paying. But when we are converting this energy to the other form, we have to put some kind of system. There we may, we may need some kind of instrument, some kind of appliance and some kind of thing. In that we are not going but we have to understand what are the sources. Now I will talk about the wind energy. Wind energy is the age old method of tapping the energy and it is used for variety of purposes and it is very useful in coastal area, hilly area and desert area and it is cost effective and does not pollute the environment. Third, we are talking about the geothermal energy. What is that? It may be a new word for you, but it is very interesting. The energy that comes from the heat of the earth and that gives the energy. There are molten rocks, the pipes and that you are getting the heat from the earth. That is called geothermal energy and that energy we are converting for variety of purposes and variety of use. Now there is another form of energy which has been generated that is biomass. What is that? It comes from the organic matter of grass, wastage, plants and any other natural material. And we process and use that energy maybe in the paper manufacturing. And government of India has taken various initiatives in startup for renewable energy. Some of the examples are Energy Efficiency Services Limited, EESL, Ujala, Unnat Jyoti by Affordable LED for All and that is also being used on a street light, solar cooker, solar panel. So this will give you an idea how energy can be reused, how energy can be tapped and how energy can be saved. You have understood the sources of renewable energy. Now I will tell you what is non-renewable energy. That means it cannot be generated by self. We have to generate the energy from the resources available in the nature and those resources can be exhausted after some period of time. So that is why we call these non-renewable inexhaustible energy sources. Now we will learn the sources of non-renewable energy and we have to be very careful as I told you these are limited resources and we have to be very careful about saving them and it is costly and very costly in certain ways. So sources are coal, gas, nuclear energy and the oil, nuclear fuels, fossil fuels, electricity, wood, all these are sources of non-renewable energies. So energy from fire comes from burning of wood, coal, oil, natural gas and these substances are called fuels which we use in our daily life for cooking the food. LPG everybody use. From where this LPG come from the 
gas natural gas and this is fossil fuel what is fossil fuel you have asked what is fossil fuel let me tell you fossil fuels are obtained from the beneath of earth's surface and these have to be unearthed from mines so there is a requirement for mining so as i told you this is a costly affair we have to save that we have to save the mines so most fossils release energy as heat which we use for energy purposes next and what how we use it in the coal from the mine we the oil we get from various industries oil industries are there which get the oil from the earth surface natural gas we get the from the there so these are some of the energy sources which are obtained from fossil fuels have you understood this yes uh, ma'am from where electricity is generated electricity is generated from variety of sources as you can see in this picture coal gas water power stations are prepared or made or installed and to generate the energy so in whole electricity is produced by the fossil fuels water and nuclear so you must save the electricity in this picture you can easily see if you do not save the energy there is a big question mark for the future generation they have to again go to the age old method of using the light from the candle because we are wasting the resources which produce the electricity this house is showing the picture where are various ways we can use the energy but electricity should be used wisely in different areas of the home in this picture you can see the bulbs are there tube lights are there you can imagine your own home bulbs tube lights refrigerator television heater acs and many other things you can use geyser so all you have to be very careful and use all these appliances or electric appliances wisely you have understood that various electric appliances are in the home and you must use those electric appliances wisely to save the electricity we are talking about energy somebody may query why conserve energy there are main four reasons one when demand exceeds the supply that is why you save the energy number two energy saved equal to energy generated number 3 fuels are limited number 4 protection of the environment i hope you will remember these four ways or reasons to conserve the energy let us understand one by one now one point under what circumstances demands exceeds the energy supply in circumstances like increasing population industrialization traffic on the road and automation in home office and other places so whenever automation is there there is some use of energy automation is not without use of energy how industrialization is growing 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 traffic on roads increasing 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 automation in homes offices farms etc second energy save 
is equal to energy generated. That means you have this much energy you have saved, but the same amount of energy is equal to generated. Another is saving energy in daily activities is a bank for the future energy because there is a less pressure on the production of energy. Very simple, I will tell you again saving energy in daily living will be the energy bank for the future generation because there is a less pressure on the generation of the energy. Another fuels are limited because you cannot take out, take out, take out the resources underneath the earth surface in the sea. So, the deposits of coal, gas, oil or the petroleum products are limited. So, you will one day you will not find the gas in your cylinder to cook the food. So, you have to be very careful. Now, I will tell you how you can save energy when you are working outside home. When we are using the AC, lights, computers in the office, we must minimize the use of them. We must switch off when we are going out or air conditioner use can also be minimized. We can also do the switch of the ACs. For example, if the time of your office to go off is about 6 o'clock, then you can use half an hour or one hour before the AC. So, you will save the energy as I told you, it is a national contribution, these small, small activities. Then you can also save energy by going upstairs through the stairs rather than always using the lift. You can also save energy on road, how? You can always be careful if it is using your own car, you can pull the car and you will should be careful about it. And it is also important that in the daytime, you as an individual may not be do this, but if you are well aware about the street lights are on or office lights are on during the daytime in well lit area you can do that. You can also use variety of ways of lights for advertisement, but they are should not be used unnecessarily at the wrong time or wrong place. You must be careful about to use the solar light even on the roads. You can use this. So, instead of using the electric energy, you can use the solar energy. Use CNG instead of petrol and get your fuel and that is very near in future from the solar panel. This is all about different ways how you can save the energy. I hope you have understood different ways you can save the energy and you can save your electricity bill.